Hi. Sorry, I accidentally muted my desktop audio there instead of unmuting myself. But hello, everybody. How are we doing today? How are we doing? Oh, I'm having a time. Couldn't really describe it. It's just a time that I'm having. Uh, but yeah, having a kind of a bad brain. Everything. But good hair. I've got good hair today, which I am really happy about because this is not something that's happened to me lately. It's good hair. And honestly, with the headphones on, it probably doesn't even look that good, but we'll see. Damn it. My wiring is not set up in a terrific way. Here. And then my spark pad keeps from getting yanked backwards because of just awkward wiring. What it? Hi, would you look at that? It's a subby day. It sure is. Thank you so much for the resub, dude. How are you doing? I hope you're having a good Thursday. There I am. How does my hair look? It looks pretty good. Yay! I'm having a good hair day. <laughs> and the headphones don't ruin it. Woohoo! I like having good hair. Having good hair is like really rare. Like most of the time my hair is lank and horrible, but now all my curls are coming out and I literally don't know what I did. This happens every time. Every time I have a good hair day, I'm just like, how did this happen? How? How? <sighs> Seven months, wow. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> Thank you, dude. How you doing? Ugh. BRB, Twitch be twitching for me. Damn. Okay. What am I going to do? Probably start the game. Because why not? I feel like I do have things to talk about, but I can't remember what they are. This always happens. Every time. Little man's being annoying, but that's normal. He's also being very, very cute. And I'd show him to you. Or, But that's just for me. That's just for me. Uh, I gave him his worming treatment yesterday, and this morning's poo was gross. Like, it was just riddled with worms. Like, they're all just, like, peacing out now. They're just like, well, that's our... We're not rent-free anymore. We're not living rent-free, and my cat's got anymore. But, yeah, it was... That's maybe better on my end. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, he was having, like... Like, I was really worried about giving him the worm treatment because it was, like a pill form so I had to like crush it and put it in his food and most most cats are like are really sussy about that they're like why are you trying to poison me but he was just the same as ever bartering with me for tummy tickles in order to actually eat his food which he did eventually because he's a good boy he's also really bloody annoying <laughs> like really annoying I feel like I actually watched a bit of my sim stream back on, on Sunday and I was just like wow I'm being really mean to my cat <laughs> and honestly that doesn't that isn't changing here I'm still calling him annoying I mean, he is, but he's also like really cuddly. He's really cute. I love him. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's just been a really weird time lately. Like, just really weird. Really kind of sad. Like, I've just been going through like weird phases of just like really wanting to do one thing and then being like, okay, no, no, I can't do that right now. So this. It all started basically when I spent all that money on just going to London and I was like I'm just really intent, I just want to go to Mexico, like I just want to go. So I was like buying those books about it and like looking into like how to apply for a work visa and actually thinking about going to the Mexican embassy in London when I'm down there. But I'm also just like I still have chronic fatigue. They're not gonna give me a work visa anyway. <laughs> They're not gonna, and I'm not ready to go to Mexico. Holy shit, am I not ready for that? Yeah, I also have had some weird stuff being weird recently. Maybe it's just a weird time. It's like, is there an eclipse happening or something? Or maybe just the planets are in a strange alignment? I don't even believe in astrology. Is that what astrology is? I have no idea, not a clue. I also had like really weird dreams last night as well. Like one was just like ordinary standard dream right up until the very end where I literally just heard some like cutesy voice go, hi there. And for some reason that jolted me awake with my heart pounding. And I'm just wondering what the fuck said that? What said hi there and made my body just have a fucking panic attack? What the hell invaded my dream? <laughs> It was really weird, and then my my other dream was literally, um, I know a girl with an abusive drug dealer boyfriend, she leaves him, comes to stay with me, and I'm just like, okay, hide in here, but he knows, and um, he literally like comes by to get her back, and it's really scary, and I have to call the police, and that was the dream I had, and it felt very, very real, because it was literally set in this building, it was set in my building. 
I think the only part of that that could even be called funny is he brought one of his friends with him. He saw me and was like, Ugh, what is she doing here? And I just yelled back, I live here! <laughs> that was the only part that could be called funny. The rest of it was quite frightening. I didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. Everybody was really mean in that dream. No, not the girl though. The girl was just scared. And so was I. But yeah, that was my dreams last night. How have things been weird for you? I don't like weird. I just like... I don't know what I like. <sighs> Calm, maybe? Happy would be nice. My cat is a sleepy boy. I'm so tired and I haven't really been doing anything, which isn't entirely true because I actually managed to do like a fuck ton of story stuff today and I'm really happy about that. Like I, I've been like having trouble focusing on it so much lately that I was just like sort of... Okay, I've probably definitely talked about this before, but I've only finished like two stories since I was 12 and started writing. I've finished a grand total of two stories. And literally every other one I've started, I've just sort of given up on, just stopped writing, stopped paying attention to, stopped caring about. And I am terrified <laughs> that that is going to happen to the novel I've been writing for the last two and a half years. I am terrified that I'm just going to put it down one day and then never pick it up again. Because it could happen. And that terrifies me. And I've also realised that I'm not going to Mexico or even reading about Mexico until I've finished the first full draft of my story that's set there. Because I actually started reading about Mexico and realising how much that I had actually misconstrued or just got plain wrong and I felt very, very intimidated and thought, why am I even trying? So yeah, not, I'm going to wait until eventually and then just go back through it and correct and readjust where I need to. But until then, I'm just writing it as it comes. <laughs> I'm mostly bizarre with work, but also I've had weird dreams the past few days, which I can't really remember now. But also disrupted sleep hasn't helped, oh that's not good. Could it be like a cause and effect thing, like weird days at work have been like bleeding into your dreams? I often find that. It's very strange and it's not very nice. Oh. Yeah. I'm also hitting a hard pause on my photography because I feel like I'm just trying to take on the world right now and my, the rest of me is just like, <laughs> no, because I still haven't even heard back from my GP. I have not heard back from my GP yet. I call every now and again just to make sure I'm still on the list to be called, and I am, which is great, but I can't even think about really doing anything until my chronic fatigue is in hand, or if it even can be in hand. It might not be to do with my medication at all. It's a rather hopeful shot in the dark on my part. I'd rather definitely talk to my doctor about it before I try anything stupid. Like going to Mexico, because I was literally looking up flights the other weekend. Oh jeez, I actually thought it was a country where you could just show up and just move in, but they're like, no, no, you gotta get either a temporary work visa or a permanent work visa, but you can't get a permanent work visa unless you've been living and working there consistently for about five years so I'm just like yeah that's not gonna happen I won't be able to work there nobody would offer me a job or well, they would and then I just fuck them all up because I can't do them because I'm tired so yeah but I'm going to London and hopefully next year I'll be going to TwitchCon that would be nice doing that with my brother because I don't really fancy going to Paris all the way by myself and frankly neither does he and it was his idea to go so yeah but yeah I don't <sighs> like I actually really enjoy sleeping and I love having dreams but every now and then it's just like I've been having like too many weird dreams that I just don't want to sleep anymore it's not nice it's not nice but I hope things calm down at work but yeah hurry if we're going to London still don't know what I'm doing except getting a tattoo story related of course um, don't know where I'm staying. <laughs> I might actually ask my mum to hurry up and ask her friends. Because the, the closer we get to the time, the, if, if she can't find me anywhere, the no B&Bs are going to be free. So I'll just say, hey. <laughs> you have... <laughs> uh, she's going to be kind of mean, um, unhappy about this, but like, hey, you have until this weekend. Okay, no, I have to freeze it nicer than that, hey. <laughs> Can you let me, can you please find me somewhere to stay? Mm. 
because otherwise any B and B will be full. Will probably be full before I can before if uh, none of your friends will take me. Yeah, like mum and my mum and my mum and dad already have like a place to stay. Uh, it was kind of last minute me tacking myself onto going with them. And it's not entirely going with them, they're going, I'm going down a day later than they are. Because they want to take the night train, but I hate taking the night train, so I'm going to take the day train instead. And just meet them down there. But they've already like booked somewhere to stay. And my mum has loads of friends though, down there. So hopefully she'll find somewhere for me. The one person I did want to stay with is apparently no longer in social media. So there's no way of actually contacting her to ask if I can stay. But hopefully. But I, I do need to get that sorted out pretty soon, otherwise everywhere will be full up. But yeah. Okay, we're playing Hard Spaceship Breaker. It's literally been over a month since I last played this. It was July 17th that I last played this. So let's get on with it. Um, Let's see, game capture's gonna be annoying. But when isn't it? What the hell is that? I don't know. That doesn't matter. Hope it's sorted soon. Yeah, same. Two. Give me my mouse back, you bitch. Thank you. Okay. 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 There we go. Might move chat back over. I can't remember if we can skip any of this. God, the, 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 the callus I have on my index finger from writing is peeling. I don't know if that means I haven't written enough or if I've been writing a lot. I know I haven't been writing a lot though, so it probably means that I have not been writing a lot. Hey! Hey! What? It said hold the thing and then it didn't let me hold it. That was weird. I'm a bit worried about leaving the little man alone when I go to London, but my friends have, uh, a couple of my friends have agreed to come and cats it, flats it for me. And hopefully that'll be enough, but he'll know it's not me. And he'll be mad when I get back. It's been a hot minute since I last played this. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da. I wonder if I remember how to play. Is that it? Uh, phono text reading the Stellar Commission Part 3 with all due respect to the Commission's chair work. It has been disappointing for many of us average Stellar citizens to feel like the Stellar Commission hasn't lived up to its promises. After the win in the fight against the AI revolution, cool. Many look to the Commission for, to provide further protections for human labour across the system, but continuously the Commission seemed outperformed by more nimble corporations, who were untethered by the bureaucratic process with which, which the Commission seemed ever obsessed to observe and follow. As much as we all understand the appeal of following dry rules and protocol, ha, when it comes to protecting real human lives, perhaps a more practical approach is in order. With Jupiter Gate established, we find ourselves again in a position of corporate dominance at the forefront of human progress, which threatens once more to be the defining factor in the lives of so many hopeful people. We must not allow this to happen again. We require leadership from the Commission, leadership which isn't fueled by profit, but rather by human respect and excellence. And maybe in the future, the Commission can put more emphasis on the fostering of collaborative, proactive efforts rather than reactively scrambling in the wake of ruthless corporate juggernauts. Well, that seems about... I've read that one. I don't actually know if I have. Cool. Cool. Thank you. I feel bad for doing that, actually. I want to be a good shipbreaker. Do I have any points? 
I have four. That's a no. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, I guess continue, yes. I can't remember how much of this we have done, I'm guessing not that much. Okay, sort of remember how to play, sort of. Okay, T Team Q readjust. Okay, that's gonna come off somehow. Did I open that window? You can just go in there. Hmm. Cool. Anything else that'll come off that way? Apparently so. this dude just sitting here. Be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good, be good. Actually. Let's get you up here. turn the speech volume back up because I've noticed that speech in every game I play is generally way quieter than it should be. Like I actually have been known to criticize streamers in the past who have the game way, way, way quieter than themselves and it turns out I'm doing that. Because as much as I like people to being able to hear me I want them to be able to hear the game as well and the story of it you know. I forgot to turn my lights on. Okay. You have got the processes, so just go, 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 go. Yeah, well, it's still stuck. Okay. Huh, what's even the point of that. Okay, yeah, I gotta take this place apart before I can do anything else with it. Did I? I didn't. No, I didn't remember to switch my lights on. Okay, and this is a way out, and I? I took out the window. Yes, sir, I did. Okay. Now, can I take the roof off this thing? Can I do it without setting anything on fire? Possibly. Huh. 
think I want to do that just yet. I don't want to set anything on fire if I possibly can. Hey, Poi, thank you so much for the alert. I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Or day, because I'm pretty sure you're back in the States now. And by pretty sure, I mean I know you're back in the States. And time differences are different, she says helpfully. But yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. And thank you again for the alert. Very much appreciated. Right. Now, can I tear the roof off this thing? I'm a bit concerned about doing it that side. Wait, should I be? 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 No? Wait a minute. I am the wrong way up. Wait. I am definitely the wrong way up. I'm upside down. Heck's sake. It's getting so confused. Some scary ass music I could do without, thank you very much. Don't set anything on fire. Ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm kind of glad the laser thing on this kind of clips through everything, so it's like I don't have to be like super accurate with it. So, what did that do? Did that do anything? So glad you have my best interests at heart. Just turn my lights on. You okay, cute boy? I just forgot my lights. Yeah. Yeah. Pet, pet. Go 
la vie. Et ok. Hello. I have returned. My cat's mad at me because I woke him up by moving. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't move within a cat's presence. Not when they're sleeping. It's ridiculous that the shifts are only 15 minutes. I still think that is absurd. Can you get your flurry at no. This is like a whole other kettle of fish that I don't know what to do with yet. Hmm. Well, okay, bye. <laughs> Looks like I don't actually need to pull it off myself. It'll do it itself. That one needed a bit of an assist. Wrong way. There's a lot going on here. Serious, come on. do. Okay. I think I'm getting a relatively good idea. Look sharp, Gatter. 
On you go, Cowboys. One minute, eh? Under the thruster nozzle? That's expensive. We barely even scratched the surface with this bad boy. There they go. I love the fact that they paused while I was sleeping. I love the fact that they even give us eight hours. That's real nice. Happy to go. These things are huge. Eight hours of sleep, can't remember the last time that happened. Well, for me, I was lucky. It happened on Tuesday night, but that was mostly because I'd only got six hours sleep the night before, so my body just kind of conked out. And six hours of sleep that night, by which I mean 6 a.m. till about noon. So, not great. I also cannot leave yet because I gotta do this. And by leave, I mean send these things into the abyss. I think I should get rid of them first though and then worry about this mess later. So, I've got to do four of these. Okay. And by four of these, I mean one, two, three, four. Fun. Jeez Louise, boy. Get going. Don't set me on fire, please. Oh my gosh, don't get me stuck either. What is wrong with you? Whew. Oh my goodness, okay, this whole thing's just breaking apart now. enough. Oh, these are those big things that get stuck. I wonder if that bug's been fixed yet. Okay, so there is something for the barge. I will... Oh, there's two of them. Lucky me. Salvage secured. 
Thank you. It is going. I can see it now. But it is also the whole thing, so I'm actually going to cancel that. thing off. Okay, well for one, I don't yet because I haven't actually done that part yet. <laughs> okay. Feroz Rojo. I want this out of the way right now. Yeah, eight hours sleep would be nice. Well, I say that. Honestly, even with insomnia being a side effect of chronic fatigue, I do actually quite regularly have eight hours of sleep, but I can safely say it does not actually do anything. I'm as tired when I wake up as I am when I go to bed, no matter how long I sleep for. Although eight hours is preferable to six. Okay, let's see what we can do about this. Are yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you being stuck on there? Not ideal. Shift your big bananas or don't get a room. You're not allowed a room. Just get out of each other's business. I'm gonna use what ones I have left just to get this thing in there. Right. Um, no tethers remaining. Sorry, I was leaning very close to my microphone there. Oh, good. Um, I'll get some oxygen since I'm here. And more tethers. Destroy the light. Damn. Okay. Well, at least it went in the right place and didn't get sucked into the furnace. As I have seen it do in other people's let's plays. Here a looking friend agree on the good Harry rocking it on. <laughs> Thanks, Paul, and thank you for the lurk. It's lovely to see you. I had so much I had such a good time in your stream earlier. Hope you're having a great rest of your night. Right, I gotta make sure There's the light. You pesky little minx. Oh dare ya. What the fuck just happened? Did I break my whatever? I don't even care. I do my best to try and catch up and have my upstairs neighbors along go for 6am regardless of the day and tend to be going consistently for an hour at a time. Why? Are they just consistently being burgled? What is up with that? That's terrible. I mean, it's not, I sometimes have to deal with my over the road neighbor who leaves his window open all night and plays TV at max volume because apparently he's deaf as a post. But I've kind of gotten used to that. It's not as bad as it used to be. Alarm clock, not house alarm. Oh. How are they sleeping through it for an hour? That's like terrible. I also don't know why my brain defaulted to bur burglar alarm. <laughs> don't know why that was a thing. Right, 
right, let's do this one. Might as well get it over and done with. Okay, got a relatively good view of all of them. No idea on that one. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fucking up my aim. Like, why? I don't actually know why I switched my grapple there, I didn't really need to. Maybe it's just to buy time while the thing was doing it. The, the thing. <gasps> How, what the fuck happened? What did I do? I was crushed by what? All right, all right. Breathe. You okay? What the? You got yourself good there. Don't sweat. I didn't. Thanks, dude. Always good to review your spare replacement form. See how you can avoid future mishaps. How did I fuck that up? I don't know what happened. How did I get crushed? It didn't look like I got crushed, it looked like my face exploded. I don't have to do that again, do I? No, it doesn't look like it. Because I imagine like it, it saves your progress up to the point of your death. Well, it's nice to know that I exploded right before my five minute break. Yeah, it's done, that's good. That was really weird, I, I don't know what happened there. That's gonna make me paranoid to try and do that ever again. I was just... What the hell? I can't... I can't tell. It looks fine. It doesn't look like anything... Could have or would have crushed. That was really weird. Okay, I'm pulling this thing out a bit. Yeah, that death was baffling. I, I don't get it. I guess I'll just have to be more careful in future, although it doesn't help that I really don't know what to look out for. Considering it didn't feel like I did anything that much differently from the last time. I feel like reusing fuel tanks isn't actually a good idea. Using it, reusing it from derelicts because... I don't know, there's something about... Destabilize, like, fuel or whatever that just doesn't seem safe. You're all for the barge. Okay, so that's at least this half done. Don't forget to take the lights out. Okay, I have to take my jacket off again, it's now too warm. <sighs> oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't. No, 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 no. Bad. Bad. Get the fuck away from there. You're not allowed in there. This fucking dumbass piece of shit. Get in the processor! 
processor. See, this is what I was talking about. There's something about the damn furnace. It's just got such a ridiculous pull on it. No, 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 no. Why haven't they patched this out yet? Why haven't they patched that out yet? What the fuck just happened? Ah, you know what? I'll allow that. Jeez Louise. That was ridiculous. I bet. Wow, this place is kind of really destabilized, huh? It's really falling apart. What the feck? Oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. These damned big pieces. I'd be luckier just I'd be better off just cutting. Why did this one get cancelled? Man. Reading that I just want some Ferrero Roche. I don't even think I can eat Ferrero Roche. That was an interesting Yeah. Like, I, I knew about that thing about it getting stuck against the wall, but about it just, like, popping out of existence? That's new. That's new.